Hey everyone, it's Shaper1000 here, and I got... Monkey! Okay, so, as you've seen from the title, this is a video of what you guys didn't get to see in the live stream. Was this police officer in trying to intimidate me and threatening to, in my book, in my opinion, to steal my thousand dollar camera. Mm. Stick around, I'll explain. So, we're standing out here, I'm smoking a cigarette, we got Bruno out, she comes out with me and Bruno when I smoke a cigarette and we're just standing there and a black gentleman walking up the street who walks up and down here several times a day, bothers no one, does nothing wrong, mm. minds his own business. As, you, as you'll see, two sheriff cruisers, deputies, pull up. He gets on the ground immediately. That's pretty sad when you think the first thing you do when you see a cop is have to get on the ground. Yeah, he put his hands up in the air and he got on the ground so real I'm, quick. So I'm filming this, not just for YouTube, mainly for that gentleman's safety. Yeah, how do as we you'll know see, what As do? you'll see, like you heard if you saw the live stream, you'll see it in here. He tells me twice he will take my camera. Yeah, I that's believe That's it. intimidation. Like, that's corruption. As you can see, you'll see on the ring doorbell too, that we said nothing to him to hinder his, to, or to impede his investigation. We did nothing. We was talking amongst ourselves. I was filming he says you can't do that. <laughs> I can film. By the way, guys, <coughs> sorry. If you think you can't film people in public, you're dead ass wrong. I don't care what anybody says. And at the end of this video, I will read the First Amendment or First Amendment rights to you. And um, you can film. You can film. You don't have to blur out people's faces. Because when, once you go out into public, you are subject to video and audio recording as well as photographs. That's why there's cameras on the streets and, you know, you, it's not just objects. You can film anything that your eyes can see. You can't trespass the eyes, okay? So I'm going to put this clip in here and I'll show you a couple different angles. Um, but I'm not going to show the whole thing because the whole thing was pretty much exactly what you've seen on the live stream. Check that live stream out. It'll be the video right before this one. Um, so I, I was still rolling on this as I was live streaming. So it's pre it'll pretty much be wasting your time. Um, but I did get his, get his uh, name and badge number. And we're going to file a complaint, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Because that's not right because now we're worried every time we leave the house if he sees us especially me and the truck is going to pull us pull us over for something stupid is he going to start harassing us and intimidating us it's not going to work with us is it no. she's from canada and she even knows the first amendment right <laughs> like she said i don't know if the camera picked it up but she said um what you say he can't do nothing <laughs> you know keep filming he can't do nothing and he can't First of all, we were on our own property. Second yeah. of all, he was across the road, and we had to zoom in. Well, you know, we weren't bothering him. We but weren't still, in their face. That's right, but still, legally, I could have stepped out in the middle of that street and filmed him if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah that is legal, guys. Totally legal. So anyway, check the clip out, and I'll be right back with you.
Here we go again. He might have called him, maybe. Oh, my God. He's going on the ground. You should be filming this. Move. I'm trying to get this one. I don't think they will. I don't think they You can't take my camera. I'm allowed to film. If you're recording an investigation, I can take your camera. Oh, Florida might be different from Cincinnati. You can't take my camera for filming. Bullshit. You ain't taking my camera. It's private property. That's a cowboy. Yeah. There's a team. He's being detained, but not arrested yet. He is cuffed. Yeah. <laughs> I got a cigar in his. <laughs> <laughs> he's seen the cop coming. He said, why is he just standing there? He's like, new cigar. <laughs> And then here come the cop. He laid down immediately. Yeah, he goes up and down here all day. Yeah. A lot of times he's on his cell phone. I, th I just figure he doesn't get a signal where he is. Poor guy. Well, I don't, we don't think know. he did anything wrong. I think he's just there just because he's walking up and down all the time. No, that's profiling. They can't. They can't send two cops after somebody because they walk up and down the street. <laughs> Well, he hangs down there at the store. It doesn't matter. You can hang out anywhere you want. Oh. And I think he goes over to the bowling alley because they have, have um, they have that bar there now too, right? Down at the bowling alley. Well, that's not illegal either. No. I mean, they can't just, why would two cops just happen to be driving past? I don't know. You tell me. That's my point. And it's always in front of our house. Can't hear nothing because them damn crows. I can't hear anything because the crows. You can't take my camera. I'm allowed to film. If you're recording an investigation, I can take your camera. Oh, Florida must be different from Cincinnati. You can't take my camera for filming. Can't do that or I'll take your camera. You can't take my camera. I'm allowed to film. If you're recording an investigation, I can take your camera. Oh, Florida must be different from Cincinnati. You can't take my camera for filming. Bullshit! You ain't taking my camera. It's private property. I'm allowed to film on my property. I'm allowed to film anything that is in public view. I'm being threatened to take my camera, and that's not going to happen.
That's not going to happen. You can't do that. No. Anything that's in the public eye, you're allowed to film. You're not going to take my rights away from me. He doesn't know my rights, but he's going to know them. I will call his boss and the mayor. Okay, so they released him. What's your name and badge number, sir? Deputy Titus 1243. Titus 1243? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. And there it is, guys, just like that. Don't let them push you around. Well, we don't, we don't right. know. Well, see, you know, we could have just saved that man's life right there. Yeah. We don't know what they were going to do. That's right. That's why they don't like rolling. They don't like filming. Titus, 1243, right? I'm gonna file a formal complaint against him. I changed Okay, so we got another one here. Come on, focus. Like I said, they're a gang. They ain't nothing but a gang. They wear the same colors, they beat people up, and they steal stuff off of people. That's a gang. Yeah, they don't need to come on this property. We didn't call them. No, they can't. That's why I'm not gonna let them push me around like that. Yeah, take me to jail and make me rich. Look how fast it's going down to 35 miles an hour. No, this is 25 now. Oh, yeah, it's 25 miles an hour. There he goes. Assholes. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bears and Mr. Man Legend, I'm out of here. Monk is pushed out. Bye, Monk. Every dull moment around here. Don't let him push you around, right, Monk? No, yeah, obviously. Thank, they thank don't know the law. See, anybody else would have said, oh, I'm sorry, and went in the house. That's what they were hoping you would do. Yeah, because I, I wonder what they were wanting to do to that man. They see me with the camera, he's like, cut it, you can't film this. Then they got mad because he laid down on the ground because he, he was scared. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty bad when you see a cop and you automatically lay down on the ground. Yeah. You know, that's pretty bad. That's why people hate cops and they're scared of them. All right, bye, Monk. Bye. Okay, guys, there you go. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. I'm gone for now. I can't even come out in our front yard anymore without something. I was just happen. telling them, you know, of all the times to do it, the 4th of July weekend. Tomorrow's the 4th. Independence. Freedom. And they're trying to take my freedom of speech away. My First Amendment right. And take my personal property. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, I didn't bother him. I didn't impede his investigation or anything like that. So, sorry there. Just kicked on. But... No, that's all right. Constitution of the United States of America. All right, here it is. The First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech. I mean, you can, you can say what you want. Or of the press, which is cameras. That doesn't mean you have to have a have a tag that says, you know, I'm from News Station or The Press. You don't have to have that. You can film. You don't need a card. And those cops that I've seen on YouTube and shit that, that say, where's your card? Where's your press card? You don't need one. You are the press. You are in public. Or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So in other words, like you can stand on the street and, you know, um, I can stand on the street with a sign saying I'm the best mechanic this side of the Mississippi. There's nothing anybody can say, you know. Um, what it means 
in simple terms, the First Amendment guarantees freedoms, freedoms concerning religion, expression, assembly, and the right to petition. It forbids Congress from both promoting one religion over others and also restricting an individual's religious pr practices. So, like, you know, I'm walking down the street, they can't say, you know, you got to go home because you're Methodist or you're, you're whatever, you know. They can't do that. And they can't stop you from filming. Especially them. They work for you guys, remember that. Any cop that says, I don't work for you, they're bullshit. If you're a taxpayer, they work for you. The mayor pays my, no, the mayor don't. Taxes pay it. And we are taxpayers, so technically, he handcuffed his boss. But this guy is a stupid idiot, and I'm not going to stand for cops telling me I can't mm -hmm. film. I had that problem once when I was filming the helicopter taking off. Yeah. The air light. In the parking lot. And, and I was filming, and the cop says, you can't film. This is a medical thing. So I just kept filming, and he walks in front of my camera. That's illegal. They, can, they cannot take your rights away from you. If it's in public, you're allowed to film it. You can't go up and start talking to him, yelling at him, stuff like that. Then you, yeah, then you are impeding their investigation. Right. Which, as you, as you saw on the ring camera, that didn't happen. I was minding my own business, and I was plenty far enough away. Yeah, we were sitting so, where we always sit and hang. So out. I was plenty far enough away. <laughs> he took his mind off of his duties to yell at me and threaten to steal something from me. I find dangerous. This is Citrus County, Florida, guys. But it happens all over Florida. Oh, yeah. It's happens not just all over here. Florida. Mm -hmm. um, I had one cop, they, they, they stole my name, my cell phone, didn't they? Yeah. They stole my cell phone, said as evidence. That was my evidence. Anyway, that's another story. But they stole my cell phone. And when I went to get it back, guess what? It just mysteriously here. came up missing. Even a lawyer couldn't find it. Lawyer couldn't get him. So that had a lawyer. And um, we wanted to get my footage off of my phone. Oh, the footage came up missing. And also, I should have pressed that because also it, it got uploaded to the cloud. Everything on that phone from that night was on there except that incident. Gone. Then my whole phone came up missing. They don't know what happened to it. Know your rights, guys. Especially that one know your rights don't let them kick you around don't let them be bullies don't let them boss you need to you. teach them in school their constitutional rights they used to teach us in school our constitutional they, rights yeah but these cops need to be as good as a lawyer when they're being trained people. when they're being trained yeah and if they're not they don't even know their own constitutional rights i mean if he thinks he can rights. take my camera then then he could have arrested me because he thinks i can't film him right so why you, you know, know, if he knew I mean, the rights, he wouldn't have yelled at him because he would have already known, oh, well, he's filming, so I can't do anything about it. That's you right. Know? I mean, he should have been focusing on that man instead of focusing on us in the first place because you don't know what that man had. You don't know what he was capable of doing at that time, you know, and interested in what we were doing more than what he was doing with that man that he uh, tried to arrest. You know, like, go. like intimid anyway, intimidation yeah. is the act of inducing fear or awe. Well, he intimidated me. Yeah. He made me afraid that he's going to take something from me. I could not believe I he said it. I didn't even have a shirt on. Yeah. I was, I was standing there with no shirt on. I was shooting with a camera. This man has a taser. He has a Glock 9 or whatever the hell he carries. It's probably a 9 millimeter. Mm -hmm. He has a billy club. He has a uh, mace. Nice. And he's yeah. worried about me filming him with a camera. Yeah, I was scared. I, now, I'm worried that every time we roll out of here, he's going to be sitting down here at the end of the road waiting to see if she didn't turn her signal on. Or say she didn't. Mm -hmm. So we got to make sure we're rolling in that car all the time on the camera. Because I'm, I'm not going to play this stuff. And, and I am I am going to file a formal complaint. What upsets me, I mean, this is happening in front of my home. Yeah, and this they try to say it's all, not our business. It, all the stuff that's going across the road, we are documenting it for a reason. We're putting it on YouTube you for know, like, a reason. You know, like she said, yeah, because we want people to be aware that you can film. 
Well, it's not but, just that. We want people to realize what the riffraff is happening, and, and they're not doing well, anything. Okay, all right, but I'm talking about the cops. This is about the cops' well, riffraff. I'm talking about them, too. They don't uh, that's do the, but Okay, but the main thing that I'm getting at is that cop picking on me for exercising my right. So that means, you know, if a cop does that, threatens to take something from you, they're gang. Not all of you, I understand. There are good cops. Yeah. I met some good cops here. Yeah. But, like, that asshole, he's part of a gang. They wear the same colors. They like to beat people up. They like to shoot people. They think they can just come over. Oh, that's a nice camera. Give it here. No. I don't care what you say, that's a gang. It ain't no different if me and 15 other guys did the same thing. Camera, right. Take? They, ain't, they ain't taking nothing from me. But like she said earlier too, I don't know if the cameras picked it up, but she said, oh, what are they going to do? Make us shut our security cameras off? They can't do that. Just like, so that camera is no different from me standing out holding this camera. No, it's not different. They can't make you shut your damn cameras off. Guys, know your rights. Please just know your rights. You can film in public. You don't have to blur faces out. You can film license plates. It's not against the law. Anything that is in the eye of the public, yeah. you know, can be filmed, can be photographed, can be audio recorded. When you walk out in public, you are to know that you couldn't be, you you might be, in, be being filmed, you know? Well, you are. If you know it or not, you are. Well, yeah, but, and I don't have a problem with that, because I, do, I don't do anything stupid to no, worry about it. I don't Just care. like him. What was they going to do to that poor guy? I know. Why did he want us to shut the camera off? What if we wasn't out there? What would what would he have done? I know. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a shit and shame when people think when they see a cop pull up to them, they have to get the. the I might as well just get on the ground. All right, he was scared. You could. He's like, why are you on the ground? Because I know I didn't do nothing wrong. Then why would they handcuff him then? Well, they detained him. Yeah, okay, but. <laughs> You don't have to handcuff somebody to detain them. You're allowed to. I'll give them that. They are allowed to. But, I mean, see right there. Why'd they handcuff him if he didn't do... And they let him go. He didn't do anything wrong. Like I said, I see him, you know, four or five times a day. He walks down to the store, whatever. He talks on his phone, Bluetooth. Yeah. He's never bothered me. You know, I mean, why? That's, that's a crying shame, man. Yeah. So... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please know your rights. Share this video, huh? Yeah. Important. Yeah, it is very important. We're not talking about just riff raffing people in general, because that's going to happen. But when the cops start doing it, threatening to take something from you just because they don't like your right? See, if they don't know our rights, how are they going to, to uphold them and protect them? If they don't know our rights, then they damn sure don't know their own. And if they don't know their own, we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. They need because to be taught that. start taking over and, and things are going to get real bad. Nope, because if people just stand up. I'm not saying cause trouble or... No. I'm no. just saying, exercise your rights every day. You if know? something like that happens, you say, no, I'm not... No, I'm documenting what the hell's going on on this street that the cops ain't doing nothing about. No. You know, they got somebody handcuffed, but they're worried about me filming. Yeah. What the fuck? You and know? Not crying going across the road. Yeah, okay, but cool. but the point is, is they're not doing their job. No. You know? They're picking on people like me. I wasn't hurting nobody. Didn't say a word to them. Mm -mm. I can't stand out in my yard. Just like when that crash happened over there. Oh, yeah. The, the, the dispatcher told me, well, go in the house. He ain't going to tell me what to do. And then he was talking to her. He said... You know, have your husband go in the house. She said, he ain't going in the house. You don't have to. Uh -uh. I didn't have to. And we were on our property. I witnessed then. it. Yeah, and I was standing in my front yard. Yeah. You ain't going to tell me to go in my house. You know, you're not yeah. you're not above my safety. I'm in control of my safety. What were they going to hide if we didn't have a camera? I don't know. It makes you wonder. Why, why don't they want you to be filmed? Yeah. It's like, I don't care. Wherever I go, you can film me. You see me on the street, put a camera up my face. I'll say hello. I don't care because I'm not doing anything wrong. Mm -mm. You know? No. I'll shake your hand. Keep that camera rolling, you know? Alright, guys. Shea Bear to Myth Man. Let him go for now. Monkey, you want to plug anything? No, I've had enough. Your cha channel? You want to? 
Oh, I'm gonna promote your channel. Then. I'll put it on mine too. <laughs> yeah, she's Probably gonna have it on. In the morning. Yeah, she's gonna have it on hers too. So. Yeah. So then it gets out. So this video is mostly, like I said, the parts that you didn't see, but I wanted to make sure I came in, so I went live that way. If he took my phone, it's too late. It's already on YouTube. Right. You know, if he tried they to take this camera. They would have had to get a warrant first to get on the property because we never yeah. called them. We never did anything. Okay. Legally, yeah. But yeah. they don't have to because they got this badge. I'll do what I want. And I'll see whether they'll deal with that later. You know? Mm -hmm. They think they don't have to. They, he, I, I'll come and take your Yeah, right. As you can see, I'm, this is the camera I'm filming with, guys. Just know your age, you know. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the next one. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Hope you all having a safe and happy one so far. Mm, it was an interesting evening. <laughs> yeah, what, what the irony is here, this is July 3rd, the day before Independence Day, and I have a cop, <laughs> an official, trying to take away my freedom. <sighs> How ironic is that? Fourth of July weekend, you're trying to take my freedom. <laughs> bye bye, guys, until we meet again. Bye. <laughs>